friends, family, neighbors, Rema Own Program is here again. This is a program set aside for family deliverance. Your 40 foundation must change. Team, the deliverer, date and time, Thursday 15th to Friday 16th September 2022, 9pm or 9 and 8 a.m. on Sunday, 18 September 2022, Thanksgiving service. Venue, Elijah Faith Assembly, number one, Elijah Faith Drive, behind the surrounding market of Osunaway, Mechanic Village, Isola, Lagos. Don't miss out in these two nights of prophetic wonders, deliverance, liberation, healing, destiny restoration, and so much more. Ministry, Prophet Shinos of Favor and Ego. Every covenant we marry. Preacher husband, open for you. Shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire. Something's happening. Fire. 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 This is a special deliverance service for every family. Invite everyone. If it is good, it will always be good. Hello, everyone. God bless you. My name is Chin on So Fever and Able. I am here today to specially invite you to our forthcoming family deliverance program known as Rema Oil Program. Family deliverance program is our yearly program and it's a program God has used in many families to deliver families from bondage of the enemies. Family deliverance program is when we concentrate to deal with our foundations through prayers when we concentrate to work on our foundations to separate ourselves from our ancestral causes and what our ancestors did the mistakes of our ancestors so i'm here today very i'm very pleased to be here today with the ministers that god has been using in Elijah Faith Assembly for many years. I am here today with Pastor Chukwoma Emmanuel. He's a minister, assistant overseer of Elijah Faith Assembly. Pastor Chukwoma, you are welcome. Thank you. God bless you. And also, I am here with our pastor, Pastor Chizoba. He's here with me today. To be a blessing to you all. Pastor Chisoba, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. God bless you. We're here today to invite you to our program, and our pastor, Pastor Dale, will be joining us later by the grace of God before we leave you. So, Pastor Chukuma, I want you to tell us uh, about Rema Oyi program. From the point of scripture, what do you have to say about the Rema Oyi program? God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. And once again, I welcome you to this program. You are blessed. Our Remoye program is a special program that God has used to break barriers, limitations in so many families, in individual lives. Now, I want to take something from the book of John chapter 9 because it has to be scriptural. Yes. John chapter 9. From verse 1, the Jews asked Jesus a question and said about the man that was born blind. And they said to him, Is it the sin of the man that was born blind or the sin of the parents? That tells us that the Jews know exactly that the sin of the parents can be a problem. The sin of the individual can be a problem. In other words, what the family have done in the past. That's why even in medical field, okay. you find out that somebody... Yeah, yeah that, that reminds me, I forgot to let you know that Pastor Chukoma is also a qualified nurse and also he study midwifery. Go on, Pastor. So, even in medical field, you find out that somebody can actually inherit something from his family. There's something we call family generational cause or community generational cause. In other words, somebody can actually inherit something that his father, his mother suffered. For example, if somebody's parents suffer diabetes, hypertension, mm. or other disease, somebody can actually inherit it. Mm. So that's why the Jews were asking a question. Is it the sin of the person 
that means something that the person committed mm, that caused some, the blindness yes something that was acquired mm. or something that the person was born with mm -hmm. in other words a child can actually be born with disability with infirmity it could be during pregnancy the mom was taking certain herbs okay. certain drugs okay. that caused deformity mm. so that's why the jews were asking is it the sin of the parents? Mm -hmm. Is it what the child inherited from, from the, parents? the parents? In other words, what the parents did in the past can affect, affect a the child. Person. Wow. It can affect a person. Mm. Now, this Rema Oye program has been a special program that God has used to deliver individuals, yes. deliver communities, yes. deliver family from the bondage that their parents their forefathers put them into. Okay. So this has been a wonderful program and we have recorded massive testimonies, testimonies. massive deliverances. We have seen it. It's not something that is hidden. Thank okay, Pastor Chukoma, God bless you. Um, I think um, Pastor Chukoma is opening our understanding better from that scripture that the sin of your father can actually affect your destiny. The sin of your parents can affect your progress, can affect you, every, anything you lay your hand upon. You are trying to say that a cause can actually be in a foundation, yet it will not manifest waiting for years to come. Uh, I, I don't know if you can connect it with the story of Ahab. Okay. Now, when you look at the story of Ahab in the book of First Kings, yes. Ahab actually committed sin mm -hmm. and god sent a prophet to him and said Ahab, mm -hmm. i'm going to deal with you you are going to suffer mm -hmm. i'm going to do this punish you do the other one and bible say i have cried unto the lord mm -hmm. i have brought himself so low fasted and wept and asked god for mercy and god said mm -hmm. i am not going to bring this punishment i have pronounced upon you mm -hmm. I am going to bring it in the days of your children. Mm -hmm. In other words, this punishment, this cause was lying dormant. It's just like when you see in the dry season, mm -hmm. you will know there will be a grass that will grow there. Yes. These things, these seeds are lying dormant, mm -hmm. waiting for rain to fall, mm -hmm. waiting for something to trigger it. Okay. The moment there is a trigger, yes. then the cause begins to so, so, so. And also, if you see the story in the book of Genesis, Bible said Noah and his children, mm -hmm. and Japheth was blessed, mm -hmm. Shem was blessed, when it came to Ham, mm -hmm. it was actually Ham that committed the sin, mm -hmm. that saw the nakedness of, of his, his father. father. Yes. But can you imagine that the cause did not come to Ham, mm -hmm. he has to go to his child called Kenan. Oh. He said, cause be upon Kenan. It was not Kenan that committed the sin. A child that was not born. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a child can actually suffer what he did not know about. Wow. A person can be going through something that was done even before his grandfather was born. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, I believe God that whenever you are watching right now that your eyes is being opened and there's a better understanding. We are still talking about this foundation i think talking about family delivery you know because so many people said there is nothing like accessory cause there's nothing like foundational cause there's nothing like a family battle that once you give your life to christ you don't need to go through deliverance but we are still talking about this foundation i also have a pastor Jesus over here for some times or for years now not some time for many years now um Okay, let me go back a little bit. Pastor Chesoba actually uh, get to uh, get to meet Pastor Chesoba, you know, talk to him, preach to him. Back then, when we traveled to his village for family deliverance in uh, Umunze, you know, Sogu village. So, and for some time now, I have traveled with Pastor Chesoba for family deliverance. So, uh, Pastor Chesoba. What do you have to say about this issue of when you talk about family deliverance? All right. God bless you all. Family deliverance program is God ordained avenue where lives are being liberated. Mm. 
Now, let me take you back to the book of Genesis chapter 49. Something happened. Okay. The Bible says one day, Jacob called his sons to bless them. Yes. And when he started with Reuben, who was his first son, mm. he said something. Yes. After he praised Reuben, but he said, Unstable as water as you water. be. Then nobody knew what Jacob was saying. Mm -hmm. After some years, this cause started manifesting in the life of Reuben. Mm. The Bible said they would go to battle the children and the sons oh, of Reuben. Hold on, with hold on. The, the, the Reuben was the one, the father, placed the cause of Paul. Yes, yes. But the team now went to his son yes. and the lineage of Reuben. Yeah. Wow. He oh. said, Because thou saw the nakedness. Of my wife. Mm -hmm. He said, Unstable as water you be. Mm -hmm. Then, years later, Reuben started dying. That in Reubenite, his yes. sons Generation. started inheriting the cause of their father, mm -hmm. even when they did not commit the sin. Mm -hmm. Okay, going back to what the prophet said, mm -hmm. when he came to my place in Umuze, I uh, that was precisely, we were a village that was held by evil men and evil women who were perpetrating evil, mm. who brought cause to the land. And that year 2002, precisely, yes. when the prophet visited, it was a village deliverance, not just a family, family. one now. Mm. All the families came for that prayer and we are liberate, liberated. Till today, the land where the prophet... Hold on, Pastor Jesus, I see. Uh, what you are saying, I just remember something. Can, can you tell us um, a little bit, just one or two words of the experience? Because I remember one specific thing that used to happen in that village, yes. your village, then, before the liberation. Before then, we are having this untimely death of youths. Mm. And there was no progress, progress among the youths. Yes. The youth will go out, struggle, and come back with nothing. So, 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 from uh, I will be cutting you from what Pastor Jesus said here. Yeah, that is, it is possible that the reason why you have been in the township or in the state you are and nothing is working, like he mentioned, I remember yes. very clearly that one of the reasons was the youth that organized that yes. because. Yes. No youth was progressing. Yes, yes. I want that thing to sink deep inside you. That it is possible for somebody to be in the town, to be in wherever you are, and nothing is working as a result of what was done yes. in the village. That is the point I want to bring out the go on, sir. And mind you, it was not the youths that committed the sin. Yes. This was the sins of our fathers. Yes. This was a cause, like Pastor Chuma said, that was opened door for by evil men and the evil women in the land mm -hmm. and the cause was triggered. Yes. Now to the back to Reuben, yes. it was as a result of sin that mm -hmm. he committed mm -hmm. and unknown to him that he has already opened up for a cause. Mm -hmm. Many a times we find ourselves in some sins unknown to all that we have opened up for a cause. But it takes a man like Moses in the book of Deuteronomy 33 verse 6, Deuteronomy 33 verse 6, where Moses decoded by spiritual signal that this is a cause mm -hmm. that lingered so much. Why will it be only the Rubenites that die whenever they go to war? Mm -hmm. Why will it be only them that fought casualty if there's anything that happened in the land of Israel? Mm -hmm. And he said, let Reuben live and not die. Amen. This is the reason of family deliverance program. And this Rema Oyu program, I believe, God gives every man a mantle mm -hmm. which he uses for deliverance. And if it's not your field, it's not your field. So God has given Prophet Chino, so fair for God will Chino, Chino Zia Nebo, this mantle of deliverance through Rema Oyu. And like I rightly said, Many years have followed him into families and lives have changed Amen. through the delivery commission that God has given to him. Amen. He has been a deliverance commission that God gave to him to liberate lives. Courts are real. Foundational powers are real. You often tell us of a story of a family that we went to Nehemiah. The oldest child there was about nine years. Amen. 
And it was in that pro program called Family Deliverance Program that this family we are liberated from what their father did. There's one that he always forgot that we went to in Umokoba village in Oba. 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 Yes. Okay. You know, Oba. It was. There is, you know, we have been to so many places, yes. so I will not remember a lot. So when we get to uh, Omokopa village in Oba, there was a particular building that their father built. Mm. And everybody that have tried to renovate, yeah, to build that yeah, house, yeah. died. Mm. Their son, the only one that was in outside country, tried to renovate, his business crashed. Yeah, yeah. But it was by the invention of family deliverance program, mm. That's changed their life, and today there is a mansion in, in that house. Mm. When we talk about deliverance, we talk with evidence. Mm. Go to Mokoka Village, it is there. God has been doing wonders through the deliverance program. God bless you, Pastor Chisoba. You know, um, that like we normally say, the evidence is the end of argument. It is family liberation program that met me and Chisoba start working yes. from that program the grace of god upon his life yes, begins yes, to manifest yes, thank you for the eye opener especially the story of ruben i want you to pick points from what we are discussing here today if from what you have mentioned about ruben family you discover something that there is always from what he mentioned there's always a trigger yes. The cause is there. Pastor Chukwu also made a statement. The, the cause is there. Something will trigger it. Something will happen. Take for example, the day Pastor Chukwu was preaching one of the service in a larger faith assembly, he said that when your parents suffer from diabetes and you keep consuming a lot of sugar, said it will trigger. That diabetes that is lying dormant in your gene. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me just, sir, uh, let me yes. just small. Because of what you said now. Yes. If somebody, for example, as you are saying, yes. has diabetes. Yes. Now, that, that diabetes is what we call predisposing factor. Okay. In other words, the person is predisposed in the blood, there's diabetes there. Mm. But it doesn't, the person doesn't suffer diabetes. diabetes. It's not manifesting. But when the person begins to do certain things, mm. like the person consumes a lot of sugar, yes. the person does not do exercise, okay. the person is so fat, mm -hmm. you know, does all those bad lifestyles. Yes. You see that those things he's doing is what we call precipitating factor. Okay. Those precipitating factor, that is the outside one, mm. will now trigger the predisposing factor, which is the sugar already in the blood. Mm -hmm. Then the diabetes will begin to manifest. So there's always something to trigger it. So if I'm predisposed to something now, mm -hmm. I can actually live without suffering that. If I avoid precipitating factor, that if I didn't point. open door, if I didn't trigger it, then I won't suffer it. But why people suffer today is because there is a trigger. Okay. Somebody has to open the door. Hold that point well. If I do what I supposed to do, yes. if I avoid things I supposed to avoid, hold that point very well. If you do what you supposed to do, because why am I saying you should hold that why am I saying you should hold that point? Because some people said there is no need for deliverance. And many has been deceived. You know, if you do what you're supposed to do through prayers, and that's what we are doing here, that's why we dedicate days in a year to deal with our foundation, to pray, to stop the manifestation of foundational causes. Yes. That's what we do every year. Pastor Truma made us in my Cindy. Remember, like Pastor Chico has said, I am not the only one the Lord will be using in this program. The ministers are also going to be using this program because they have their parts to play. They have their own area God called them. When I go to family neighbors, I don't be alone. I go with people and they play their part. If you play with your foundation, it doesn't matter how anointed you are. It doesn't matter how rich you are. Financial costs may not come through finance. It may come in a health way. It may not come through health, it may come financially, it may come through your children. 
Praise God. I believe that God is opening your understanding to learn about foundation. Okay, uh, Pastor Chukuma, I'm going to come back to you again to ask you, can you remember one or two testimonies uh, that you can share with uh, I know sometimes we see a lot and sometimes it's hard to remember what has happened in the church, you know, several times. God has delivered people. I remember the, the lady that did child education, Sister Lizzie. I remember when I picked her, her sister, her mother in a prophecy about their foundation. They were grown up ladies, mature ladies, but no marriage is happening. Um, not in their mother was sick as a result of foundational post mistake of their father, their forefather, who was a strong warrior, who used to keep people, who used woman's call to drink water. By the grace of God, the prophecy came up, the Lord revealed that to me, and I remember that day they were excited, they were standing at the altar, something like that. And today, the yoke has been broken. The sister, precious, got married and have a child now. The enemy never wanted any of them to marry or have children. The Lizzie that did dedication on the 28th of August 2022 also got married, dedicated a baby boy. Precious also had a baby boy and their mother is a healthy over 20 years infirmity as a result of foundation but was broken and the mother was telling me the, the mother of Lizzie was saying that she will be traveling for August she was talking to me on that 28th of August she was telling me that she will be traveling by November for another of her grandchild's wedding can you see God turned around the family and the yoke was broken Pastor Chuma can you remember anything you want to share with our viewers what God can do and from there and um, tell them what uh, they, they should expect in this program. Thank you very much, sir. In my own town, yes, a village in my town where we went to do deliverance. Mm. I remember in those days it was night that you and I went for that yes, deliverance. Yes, 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 where yes. they had a very big masquerade. masquerade. Yes, yes. Two of them, the oldest one and the newest one. The newest masquerade. They brought out mm. the uh, they call it a John. Mm. Yes one of the most dangerous masquerade in Ibo land mm. and they had to break it out for us at the village square there mm -hmm. and we destroyed this masquerade had held the whole entire village remember the masquerade once it goes out it cuts and they hang a knife on the air yes somebody will blood will be dropping somebody in the olden die. days mm. so after we destroyed that masquerade and call the Iroko tree. Yes, yes. If you're yes, anybody that yes, knows yes, my village in Omon yes, yes, yes. we know there's one big Iroko tree. There was no upstairs. I say it yes. with sincerity. Yes. There was no upstairs in that village. No good building in that village. Mm -hmm. It's a village where you hardly see any house, any family, where somebody did not give birth at, at home. home. Mm -hmm. A lot of things was happening. Until and, and all these things were some things, things that the new generation never knew anything about. Yes. You remember the history that they said that the shrine that owns the village, they left the shrine under the without the putting without shelter. Putting shelter. Yes. And the shrine got angry and placed cause yes. upon the village. It's a reality. Mm. So when people say what we talk about is Old Testament, mm. when people say today it's real. It's happening real. Let me take, for example, like testimony you do give mm. about um, my mother. Yes. You find out that what somebody said, like the person that died, my grandfather, yes. Shelter, yes. said certain things mm. that when this child is born, he will do this, you, do this. you see that there is, there is mystery that people fail to decode. Mm. There's serious mystery on this earth. So when people say we are talking about Old Testament, you see somebody, the same pattern happening in your family. Mm -hmm. This person suffered it. Even when, when they say suffered. when they say it's Old Testament, I used to ask, like you rightly mentioned earlier on, even medically, I have seen a doctor, I've gone to hospital. 
while I was I was being uh, cancelled by the doctor started asking me, your mother did your they mother have any report? Medical history. Yes, if medical, medically they recognize the same way spiritual. You have to if you can take a medical history, mm -hmm. you can also take spiritual, spiritual history. history. Yes. So a prophet has to decode that, that, take history. That's your question. That is what we are doing in this Rema Oyi program is to handle the history of our family spiritually. Yes, mm -hmm. and deal with it. Also, in the book of Matthew chapter 22, mm -hmm. where you read from verse 25, mm -hmm. this is something that happened during the time of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees came to him and asked him, because I said, Master, mm -hmm. we have in this place seven brothers mm -hmm. who married the same lady. Mm -hmm. in the first one married, and the brother did not get a child, mm -hmm. the brother did not make it and died. The, his brother took over the lady. And at the end of the day, the seven, they died. died. This is a very battle. picture of transfer battle in a family. Wow. So I, it's real. I believe God that we our eyes of understanding is being open, being enlightened. We have a whole lot to say and to talk about when you have to talk about or when you bring the story about foundational pro, pro, uh, issues. So we are here to uh, uh, talk to you a little bit and also to invite you. Pastor Chukwu, my one or two words, just invite the viewers for the Rema Oye program. God bless you. I want to invite you especially yes. because it's going to be great. Thank you. Your life will never remain the same. Amen. God is going to give you a turn around, give your family a turn around in this program. Amen. As you attend this program, there will be a shift, Amen. what we call paradigm shift. It's going to be a surprise. Okay. What God will give your family. Amen. Prepare, plan to attend, and you will have a total deliverance. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Chisora. Pastor Chisora, please uh, invite viewers in this program. God bless you. I want to invite you to this program because it's going to be a special one. Amen. The team says the deliverer. And Jesus is our deliverer. Amen. If you have mixed every other program, make sure you don't miss this one. Okay. Because your foundation will be dealt with. Okay. And there will be transformation. Once your foundation can be dealt with, your life will change. Amen. Because foundation is the base of everything in life. Amen. See you there on the 15th, on the 16th, on the 18th. Don't miss it. 15th by 9 p.m., 16th, 9 p.m., and 18th by 8 a.m. Don't miss it. Get ready because the deliverer is coming to your foundation. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We shall be back shortly. And I will tell you one or two things again. God bless you. See you shortly. Friends, family, neighbors, Rema Oil Program is here again. This is a program set aside for family deliverers. Your 40 foundation must change. Team, the deliverer, date and time, Thursday 15th and Friday 16th September 2022, 9 p.m. or 9 and 8 a.m. on Sunday, 18 September 2022, Thanksgiving service. Venue, Elijah Faith Assembly, number one, Elijah Faith Drive, behind the Sunday market of Osoloway, Mechanic Village, Isolo, Lagos. Don't miss out in these two nights of prophetic wonders, deliverance, liberation, healing, destiny restoration, and so much more. Ministry, to Prophet Shinos of Favor and Evil. Every covenant we marry. Preacher husband, open for you. Shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire. Something is happening. This is a special deliverance service for every family. Invite everyone. If it is good, it will always be good. Hello, welcome back. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome back. I'm grateful to God I'm here with uh, one of the pastors that God has been using mightily in Elijah Faith Assembly, Pastor Dare. Dare, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. God bless you. You're welcome. You, wow. We are 
still talking on our family deliverance. We are here to let you know what God is doing to let you know about family deliverance and also tell you what God has done in time past and believe God that you will experience turn around upon yourself and your family through this program in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, Pastor Dari, I want to tell us about uh, family deliverance. You have been to Elijah Faith Assembly and you have also traveled with me for family deliverance. So tell us about family deliverance in a you know what you know about family deliverance and also about the forthcoming Rema oil program. Go on, God bless. Thank you, sir, for this great privilege given to me to share my thoughts on this family deliverance. I will start by saying family deliverance program is the most important program that everyone should not miss. Amen. I believe through the word of God that everyone is created with a destiny. Everyone is created with a purpose. Everyone has a vision in life. Mm. Let's take the story of Jephthah. Mm. In the book of Judges chapter 11, the Bible recorded that Jephthah was a mighty man. A man of destiny. A man of vision. But his foundation mm. deprived him his rights. Mm. The Bible said Jephthah was a mighty man. But he was a son of an adult. Mm, foundation. That is a foundation, sir. Wow. And that deprived him of his right. Same thing to Jabez. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 9. It said Jabez was more honorable. He was a man of destiny. Mm. He was a man of purpose. Mm. But because his mother bear him in sorrow, foundation. that foundation changed his identity. From a great man to nobody. Mm. From a man of destiny to an ordinary man. Mm. But thank God that Jabez realized that he carries a destiny and he needs to pray. He needs to wage war against that forty foundation. And if you read down from 9 down to 10, he cried unto the Lord and God of heaven had him and changed his identity. Please, I want to urge everyone, do all you can because I believe God of heaven. I believe the God of my Father. I believe God of heaven that in this Rema oil program, your identity will change and the root destiny that God has ordained for you will come into reality. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Um, uh, Pastor Dari just mentioned two people, uh, Jephthah, and Jabez, Jabez yes, you know, their foundation, the way they were born, become a thing of limitation yes, sir. to their purpose and destiny. Yes, sir. This tells us that foundation can actually limit one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Foundation can actually frustrate somebody, yes, you know, and make you to become nobody when you are destiny. That tells every one of you that foundation is real, yes, sir. But deliverance is more real, yes, sir. Because be, there is foundational battle. That's why God sent us His, uh, His begotten Son Jesus Christ yes, to die for us so that we will be free. So what we do in family deliverance is to remember where we come from yes, sir. and the happenings in our family yes, and table it before God because God has raised men. He has given men gifts yes. of deliverance. And that is why we are inviting you in this program because we believe God that God will deliver you and your family. Amen. Whatever Amen. be your Amen. case, Amen. Amen. are you from a family that is saying nobody will rise? Yes, this is an opportunity yes, like Jephthah. Yes, this is an opportunity to fight it out yes. and deal with it. Yes. Okay, uh, Pastor Darren, we know that uh, you have your area of gifting so what do you have to tell our audience of you know the area god is using you what is expectation you think you want them to come with in the area god is using you go on thank you sir i want everyone hearing me uh, to have this expectation why coming 
Okay, let me say this before now, sir. Please help me. Let me say this before now. Uh, it's not just only for Elijah Faith Assembly. Yeah. Why I said so is because uh, an incident that happened last year. So I can remember a man that came from Ghana mm. that you picked up. Yes. That you gave a prophecy about, you know, demonic exchange mm, yeah, from his foundation. And the father there. Yes, sir. The, the father went to, the grandfather went to Aito yes, and sir. said, Give me children. Yes, sir. Take wealth. Yes, sir. And in the whole lineage, nobody can afford 50,000 there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Go on. That's what I'm saying. This is not just for Elijah Faith Assembly. Mm. It's for everyone. Whatever you are, find your way to Elijah Faith. Everybody, everybody. I said before now that this is the most important program mm. that everyone should not miss. Mm. And I believe God that in this Rema Oil program, life will change. Amen. There will be prophetic ministration. Amen. God will locate you, locate your family, and there will be a divine turnaround. Amen. I also believe God that those of you that is having these satanic patterns in your family, maybe in the family of four, family of five, nobody's making it. In the family of seven, everybody has their own challenge. In the family of eight, everybody is expressing rise and fall. I want you to do all you can to come with your family because we believe God of heaven that the God of Rema will give your family a new identity and your life will change because we know that with God, all things, all things are, possible. are possible. And in this program, He will do the impossible in your life and family. Amen. 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 With God, all things are possible yes, because sir. He is our deliverer. Yes, sir. And He is going to deliver His people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, like Pastor Darius said, wherever you are, both outside Nigeria, like He mentioned somebody who flew from Ghana yes, and came. Yes, you know, the prophecy was given online, yes, then He came physically. Yes, so please, wherever you are, within Nigeria, outside Nigeria, please join us in this program. Yes, and those of you who will not be able to come, join us online. And whatever we are doing through our Facebook and through YouTube, join us and watch the service live yes, as God is working. I believe God that God will also yes, visit you wherever you are. Yes, so please, we want to specially invite you to this program. We believe God that your life will not remain the same again. Remember, the program is coming up yeah. on Thursday, 15th of September, 2022, yes, sir. Yes, sir. till 18th yes, sir. of September, 2022. Remember that Thursday, 15th, will be night, yes, and uh, Friday, 16th, will be night, and Sunday also will be morning. Join us who believe God that the deliverer is ready to deliver you. Because he said, come upon me in days of trouble. I will answer you and show you the mighty things which thou knowest not. As you call upon you in this program, you will reveal your foundation. Amen. Prophetically, you will reveal it, like Pastor Chukoma said, through the word of God, you will reveal it. Through prayers, you will reveal it. We have our, our, our brothers that will be joining us, Pastor Stephen, yes, that is our pastor in Umunze Church. You will be also joining us in this program. I will believe God that God will answer us and deliver us. Amen. And your life will not remain the same again. God bless you. We have come to the end of this program. God bless you till we come your way next time. We we'll believe God that your testimony has been substantiated already. Amen. Remain focused. Remain blessed. Friends, family, neighbors, Rema own program is here again. This is a program set aside for family deliverance. Your faulty foundation must change. Team, the deliverer, date and time, Thursday 15th to Friday 16th September 2022, 9 p.m. or 9 and 8 a.m. on Sunday 18th September 2022, Thanksgiving service. Very Elijah Faith Assembly, number one, Elijah Faith Drive, behind the Sunday market of Osolowe, Mechanic Village, Isolo, Lagos. Don't miss out in these two nights of prophetic wonders, deliverance, liberation, healing, destiny restoration, and so much more. Ministry to Prophet Shinos of Favor and Evil. Every covenant we marry, preacher husband, open for you.
This is a special deliverance service for every family. Invite everyone. If it is good, it will always be good.